Well, you see, because when I was in India, my interest was with the arts, you know, history, geography, literature, and all. So I did that, and I went on to do the honours and the masters and everything from there. So, which is of course the Oxbridge one, you know, which we were doing. Then I came back, and when I returned, I thought I I would go into the university and do some lecturing or something, which I had done for two years in India before I came. But then, you know, see, this is very, very strange. I think it's the way God guides you. My brother was a doctor by then. He was, he went to Madras Medical College, became a doctor and came back also. And he, I went, when I returned, sorry, when I returned, I saw the director of education, the ministry. For, and he said, yes, you know, he accepted me and he was going to, but just then my brother, told me, you know, there was an advertisement in the papers asking for pupil almoners, as we were called then, medical social workers, and they were going to give scholarships. So he asked me if I was interested. He said he knew the medical social worker. There was an English lady. I said, he said, come, I'll take you to her. So he took me to her, Miss Eastor she was. And I was introduced to her. and. Just watching her and seeing what work she did so impressed me. And you know, I always had that feeling of helping the poor. You know, and those days we had a very simple uh, understanding of how you help the poor. You know, you just think you help the poor. She was so good, you know. I thought this is exactly what I want to do. She took me to the orthopedic section and the way she dealt with patients and you know, the whole uh, philosophy of what she was doing impress me. So I said to my brother, yes, I'll apply for this. So that's how, instead of going for, for the uh, academia, I applied for this. And there were about 32 or 33 who applied, and only two were, would be taken. So I was the one. <laughs> that time they had two standards. Either you had to be 25 years old and you must have what do you call it? You must have had experience, which I, I was neither, because I was only about 22, I think, or so. And if you're less, then you must have a degree, which I had. So I came in under that. But as you can see, I was very naive. I had no idea except to help, you know. But how and what the problems were, not a clue. So anyway, I was taken and I started my course there at the university, you know, the one at Bukitima that was there then. Yeah. We had great fun, we were a, just a group. All of them were much older than me, I was the youngest. And we, we used to have such a lot of fun together that we said we were more social than work, you know. The course was, surprised me because there was so much in it. And I think as far as the academic part, it was okay. But when it came to the practical aspects, you know, it was quite, I had to really find my way. And I had some very good uh, supervisors during our practical time, you know, which helped me a lot, yes. The course was general social work, but for us to do medical social work, or almoning as it was called those days, we had to do, actually during those two years, a lot of extra assignments. We had to go for lectures in the hosp different hospitals, which was very good really for us. Then we got used to the hospital setting, to what the medical part of it was. So we had to listen to all that and do, do uh, practical work also re related to that. So that eventually when we qualified, we found it very easy to settle in.